Hi, my name is Mike Anony. I'm an associate professor of communication and journalism. And my research really focuses on the intersection of technology companies and news organizations. We used to think of press freedom as individual journalists, heroic journalists who were deciding what publics needed to hear. They were doing the investigations that publics needed to know about. They were holding power accountable. These are people like Edward R. Murrow or Ida Tarbell. But today that kind of freedom isn't just the individual journalist who's free from the marketplace or free from the state. That kind of freedom is really intertwined with these technology designers who are making the platforms that make some kinds of speech visible, make other kinds of speech invisible. So one of the motivations for the research was to really try to help journalists understand that they're in this new world of technology design and technology power, where in order for them to do their jobs, in order for them to create the public conversations they want to and they need to create, they have to speak a new language of technology. They have to speak the language of social media platforms, algorithms, databases, and data design. They have to figure out how to both collaborate and cooperate with technology companies. So one of the most simple examples is, if you want your story to appear highly ranked on Google News, you're going to want to follow the instructions, the recommendations that Google gives you on how to appear highly ranked. So part of that press freedom that exists today is really figuring out how to speak the language of these platforms. That's a good thing in some respect because you want your work to be heard, you want your stories to be appearing, but there can be some downsides to that too. When journalists find themselves writing in a way that's only for search engines, that's mostly for advertising keywords, that's primarily to appear higher on a search result, you have to sort of ask what kind of news is getting produced? What kind of news is getting visible to the public? Is it what journalists think public should hear? Or is it what technology designers think public should hear? And the idea for the book really came out of this 10-year analysis that I had done of the stories that journalists were telling themselves about what they thought press freedom meant in this new technological era. So what I was looking at was what kinds of stories do journalists tell themselves about when they want to be close to technology companies or when they want to pull away from technology companies. I really just became intrigued with what kinds of assumptions go into building those systems. And then specifically, what do those mean for news? What do those mean for journalism? And what does it mean now that journalism is so intertwined with technology that you really can't separate out the work of journalists from the work of technology designers?